this one isn't going to be good for my blood pressure at all. Fuzzlers know that my favorite type of blaster above all others is the shotgun. I can't love shotguns enough. And that was the one thing that got me kind of hopeful for the whole Fortnite line because there are good shotguns in Fortnite and they could be really good. And we did get the tactical shotgun, which was uh, pretty okay, kind of meh. But then there was a leak of the Fortnite pump SG, a mega dart blaster that looked absolutely amazing, but there was nothing else teased along with this blaster. It was just a photo of it and nobody knew exactly what we had in store, but many thought we might have finally gotten some kind of actual tube magazine pump action mega dart shooting. Doesn't matter what the FPS is, we didn't care. We just wanted that authentic shotgun action. And when the retail price of $30, I, I mean, it was, it was right for us to hope that maybe there was something more to this blaster than the absolute <laughs> bare minimum. I bought this blaster in February of 2021 from walmart.com and it's never hit the channel because I was so absolutely furious. That this blaster was released by Hasbro, I was beyond myself. Is this the worst? Is this the worst blaster of 2021? Bar none, it is. There's no defending this piece. That's not a joke. There's no hyperbole. I don't care how cool the Nerf Fortnite Mega Pump SG looks. This thing is essentially everything that's wrong with Nerf. Glasses are coming off. Why is this thing so bad? Pump action mega blasting comes with four mega darts. This is a mega dart shotgun and it is absolutely huge. It looks amazing. The Fortnite trying to make sure none of the lines match up with anything and all the proportions were exaggerated didn't really affect the pump SG. It looks good. And if you actually played Fortnite, you will know the double pump meta was absolutely atrocious. And it was the single reason why I stopped playing the game. What do we got on the back of the box? Pump action, breach load. That's literally all the marketing they could put on the back of this box. I really hope to see you down in that comment section. Let me know if that's worth the price for a single shot breach loading mega blaster. And also please, for the love of Chrome, hit the like button. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed because 62% of my viewers aren't subscribed anyway. This is one where I hope to get my money back because I've been mad for almost a year. And the funny thing is, had I bought it yesterday, I probably would have saved a lot of money. Probably been on sale multiple times. The grip is a little too sharp of an angle, but for me, for my pretty small hands, it's rather comfortable. The trigger is completely flat. There is no chamfering to it at all, and it's extremely wide, so it's not super comfortable. Are you kidding me? That's it. An inch and a half a draw. The blaster is this big. It's, it's massive. It's the size of the Nerf rival Saturn. It's actually really comfortable to shoulder. That's how much draw you get. No barrel attachment points, no rails, no stock attachment points. We do at least have a separate piece of color for the grip on the, the grip. You're supposed to load it by opening that up, wedging a single mega dart into the barrel, which means that much of the blaster is dart and the internals are all the way back there. Then when you prime it forward, it closed the breach, right? Yes, it closes the breach. Darts located under platform. Locate you under platform. Didn't work. There's not even dart storage. There's, you couldn't have put like a little thing on the side of it, like the double breach. You know the mega double breach? That's a pretty cool looking blaster. It sucked because it was the same thing, but it at least shot two darts. This is worse than the Mega Double Breach. How much of the Mega Double Breach? <sighs> Hasbro. Well, what do I know? Maybe the performance 
is absolutely mind blowing. It is incredible to me that the breech does not open when you prime the slide back. We'll put our purple mega dart in there. Close the breech. Seemed pretty normal to me. And this is what you have to do every single time. You wanna fire the blaster. And the worst part about it is, honestly, it does seem like it's hitting kind of hard, but the fact that it doesn't even have dart storage anywhere on it, like on the side or a bandolier or something, seriously. Do the cosmetics of the blaster warrant a $30 price tag? I know the argument is always it's for kids. It's for kids. I wonder how many children cried, screamed, and dreamed of getting this blaster before actually having their hands on it and realizing it only fired one dart at a time. I wanted a lot of stupid toys as a kid. I think the one I wanted the most was that like easy bake oven thing, but it was for making like knockoff Hot Wheels cars. So you put like a sheet of plastic in it and a light bulb kind of warmed up the plastic, kind of melted a little bit. And then it went into like a little vacuum chamber kind of thing, or really just some kind of molding thing and made a car. You had to cut off the excess of the plastic and that never looked good and then put stickers. And then you had this really thin, brittle plastic covered in stickers with very minimal details of a car on a generic, not even good enough Hot Wheels chassis. They broke immediately. I, I wanted this toy so bad. I remember getting it and regretting it because I know it was probably monstrously expensive and I grew up pretty poor. I didn't get a lot of toys when I wanted. Why do you think I'm a grown man playing with toys? Because I didn't get this stuff as a kid, man. I, this was not my thing. I'm spending my adulthood trying to recapture that glimmer I had as a child. And I can only imagine the poor kid just like me, might've saw a commercial on TV. Probably doesn't even have Fortnite. He wants it so badly. Maybe he just sees it on the shelf. Cause remember it was in the package with that big, huge breech load on the back. And even then, even then the back of the box doesn't tell you that the breech load is only a single dart. It just says breech load. If you're that kid, I'm so sorry. That's, that's horrible. Chronograph time. Maybe this thing's actually hitting a little hard. Fortnite pump shotgun. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna make you guys sit through every single one of these reloads. I can't even aim the stupid thing. Look at where, are you kidding me? Look at where the barrel is. What the? Oh! 75, actually reasonably high for a mega dart blaster. This is what they put the sniper rifle stuff into. 72. Oh my. 77. Not yet, not yet. I've got more torture. I hate everything. Let's see what the performance is like. Two shots flat. Curved right into the ground because there's no barrel, which uh, does seem like this thing has a pretty decent sized plunger tube. <sighs> Say two shots flat, I guess I meant four. Those darts could go way farther, but of course they, uh, they just curve into the ground. Well, since the shots are gonna curve into the ground, let's angle it. That was ridiculously far. Well over 75 feet angled could probably hit a hundred it would just go straight nope 
Ah, they're just gonna curve into the ground. You hate to see it. Freaking really. Caught my finger while I was uh, pulling the breech open. <sighs> Fantastic. One of the main reasons why I didn't want to do this video, the reason why I gated it behind some form of interaction on videos to help the channel grow, so you can help the hobby grow, is because I know there's going to be comments out there that are going to be saying things like, oh, Walcom, that's not that bad. Nerf's done worse, or this company's done worse, or cosplayers will really like it, or kids will love it or something. I get it. But at the same time, this is a slap in the face. There are better options out there. There are cooler options out there. More functional versions out there. There are cheaper versions out there. The Nerf Fortnite Pump SG, retailing at $30 or $23 I checked on it just before getting back in the studio here to film for a single shot pump action. It does perform pretty decently, but it should because it's only firing a single dart if it had a jolt plunger tube in there, yeah, then that would be even more disgusting. But yes, it does look cool and it does fire okay, but you would never use this for anything. And if you wanted some kind of shotgun aesthetic, there are so many better blasters. Anybody can make an argument for literally anything. I do it all the time. There's a lot of bad blasters that I absolutely love and I can make arguments for them being somewhat useful. There's nothing for the pump SG. $30, $30 US. Grandmas the world over have probably bought these things thinking they're so cool. And I'm not gonna disagree that there's probably some kid out there that absolutely loves theirs. But for basically everybody else, the worst blaster of 2021. That's counting things like the Flip 16. You know, I, I kind of wonder what the what the plunger tube is like, so. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't look like there's anything impressive in there. I'm sure that's what she said. Don't buy one of those. I'll have a link in the description. I highly don't recommend ever purchasing one. It's horrible. I hope that that blaster is worth hundreds of dollars so I can always regret that moment. But I still don't think I care because I'm gonna stand by my convictions and I know there are starving kids in some other country that could have eaten that blaster, but it doesn't matter. The Fortnite Pump SG is one of the worst blasters I've ever taken a look at on this channel. And it's the worst nerf blaster of 2021, which is gonna make, if I do a top five worst blasters, I'll be surprised if anything can beat that. I'm Walcom S7, thank you, thank you so much for watching this stupid video. If you got all the way to the end, chances are you like what we do here. So please hit like, get subscribed. <sighs> Feed the algorithm beast, all that fun stuff, please. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. You gotta 